I look extra tired this morning, it's because I woke up at 3 a.m. to go on a hot air balloon. But it was so worth it. It was a really great experience and I'm scared of heights. So I put that to the test and um, it was actually really calming and really beautiful. Um, before we continue with the rest of this video, I would just like to say that this video is in collaboration with YCL Jewels and I am very excited to say that because they are my favorite jewelry brand ever and I have some exciting things to tell you about them today. <laughs> if you've ever seen me wearing a necklace, it is 99% of the time from YCL. Um, they are a local brand here in Australia and they make beautiful, classic, timeless pieces that are excellent quality and perfect for everyday wear. Right now I'm currently wearing my Virgo star sign symbol with my molten choker. I'm wearing Virgo for my partner. And on my ears I'm wearing this little combo of the small textured hoops and the Etta Huggies. And I really love these two together because it's just kind of classic and simple. It's not too overpowering with the necklaces as well. I layer YCL all day every day from my initial pendant to my star sign pendant. I love all of their simple beautiful chokers and their all of their pendants are just absolutely stunning but the reason I wanted to tell you about them today is because they are having their yearly sale their Black Friday sale uh, which is 15% off their entire website and um, yeah they only do this once a year so it's such a great opportunity however if you are watching this video outside of that time there will also be a discount code for you linked down below um, and on top of that they are launching one of their brand new necklaces which is a best friend necklace as you can see there, it is a love heart kind of cut in half with the little diamantes, two separate necklaces. So one for you and one for your best friend. Um, and I'm about to surprise Em with this now. <laughs> okay, got it in the little gift bag for her. This is such a stunning gift bag. Okay, let's go. Okay, come on down. You can't see it. Say what? Hi. Hi. Okay, you're gonna close your eyes. Oh. <laughs> okay, what the fuck? Okay, I open them. But can I like feel yeah, something? You, yeah, you can put it in your hand. What is this? <laughs> what is this? We might need to move around. Wait, hold the lighting, on. The, the, the back, lighting's backlit, sorry. I need it's a little surprise. What is this absolutely offensive bag? I know. It be, hello. It beautiful? I know. That is so cute. They're the same like okay, yeah, yeah, they're... Oh my god, god that's so cute. Wait, they're so cute. I feel like it's the perfect size because it's like it's a little bit of something. But, but it's not it's too so flashy dainty. if you want to like yeah. match it with something else. Yeah. And guys, this is such a cute Christmas Wait, is this idea. New? This is new, they just launched it. A, a best friend necklace. Yeah. Oh my god, that's wholesome! Yeah. And Emily's wearing it with her snake chain. I am, oh yeah, I am. Oh, oh that chain. layers quite nicely. Yeah. In fact, I could even make it shorter or longer again to layer it yes. better than So it has three are. different lengths. I probably would just wear it with the molten choker. Cause I feel like that's yeah, that's a nice layering, isn't it? I might have to take it off. Can we? Can we? Can we? Oh my god, that's yeah. so cute! We're having such a cute, wholesome best friend day, guys. Yeah. We're gonna go for a swim, and then we're gonna put up the Christmas tree. Yeah, make sure you check out their Black Friday sale. The best friend necklace will be launching the day this video goes up, so check it out down below. Love you. Love you. <laughs> So this is the weather today and my mood strongly matches it. <laughs> I think this weather calls for a little D&M, you know, a little chat, a little catch up. I feel like it's been a while. 
and I like talking about feelings and stuff. So let's do that. <laughs> I asked you guys to send me some questions on Instagram. I hope you guys pulled through with some with something juicy. Okay, how did you meet your boyfriend? Lots of questions about this, and I think I have said it before, but we actually met on Bumble. I feel like I should be getting a sponsorship or something to say that. <laughs> um, I was really hesitant to go on dating apps. I thought it was a horrible idea and I was really not into it for a while. And then one day I just had this urge to do it. I like to think that it was fate because I had a very strong desire to go into Bumble and I was like, where is this coming from? <laughs> if Taylor announced a tour but wasn't visiting Australia, would you travel to see her? Yes. I was going to Norway in 2020 to see her. <laughs> what are both of your love languages? I don't know what you mean by both. I don't know if you're referring to me and my partner. Um, my love language is words of affirmation, but I also really, really appreciate some physical touch and some quality time. Um, they would probably be my top three. I think that my partner's is... I don't know what order I do them in. Probably quality time, physical touch, and acts of services. Yeah. Has naturopathy ever assisted you with dealing with anxiety? No. No, it hasn't. <laughs> That's just the work. You got to put in the work. Therapy has. <laughs> what will be your next travels around the world? Are you interested in Canada? Yes, I am. One of my best friends lives in Canada. Um, I will be definitely going back to Europe and England because my friend's having a baby. And also, I really want to go to Japan. Really want to go to Japan. I love your friendship with Emily. How do you maintain it? And have you ever had a fight? We have had discussions many a times. I don't know if you call it a fight, but we've definitely had times where we are both feeling a certain way and then we communicate that. We've gotten really good at doing that. And, you know, I think that that's a key to a good friendship is learning how to understand each other and how you function because everyone is different. And I think being a good friend is part of understanding how your friends work and what works for them and what works for you and how you work together as a team just like any relationship really but yes me and Emily have definitely had fights or arguments or disagreements and um, I feel like all of them usually lead to us being stronger and better friends what is filling up your cup lately to be honest my cup feels a little bit empty right now I've got a lot of things that I'm trying to figure out in my life I am trying to start a business of some sort. I'm making merch for the Chats, Chats and Reacts channel. Um, I've got my cookbook coming out very soon. I'm just working in a lot of different areas and I feel like it might not be obvious to you guys, but it's a lot of behind the scenes stuff. And I'm feeling a little bit um, <laughs> scattered at the moment. So I am trying to take some days um, reading really fills up my cup, listening to music really fills up my cup, um, spending that quality time with friends and my partner and my dog Ari, she really recharges me. Going on walks with Ari is one of my favourite ways to feel recharged. Do you do Botox? No! I'm flattered that you might consider that I do. I'm 29 and I'm definitely starting to see the signs of aging lately and it's kind of confronting. It's um, it's a very interesting age to be at because it's the first time you really start to realize that you, you will get old. You will be old and you will die. And when you're young, I don't know, when you've just always been young, it's hard to really grasp that. Um, but yeah, I'm trying to just embrace those signs of aging and, you know, go with it. It's hard sometimes when society's standards is to be young and beautiful always, especially as a woman. I feel like we are so harshly judged on how we age and how we look. And I like to do pre preventative things like good skincare and retinol and sunscreen. I wear sunscreen on my face every day. Um, but yeah, no Botox. <laughs> Not yet, anyway, you never say never, but I don't think that I will go down that route. What are some of your other favorite artists apart from Taylor Swift? Whew, Lana Del Rey, Lord, Haim, Fleetwood Mac, Harry Styles, Casey Musgraves, Maggie Rogers. 
Um, 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 all I can think about is Red right now, honestly. But I do love a lot of other music. Um, uh, Hosier. Uh, oh, why can't I think of anything right now? Those are some of my other favorites. In your ideal world, what would your life look like in five years? Um, okay, in my ideal world, I would have my own business that is separate from YouTube and not related to me as a person, but more something that I've created. Wow, it's kind of scary to say out loud, but yes. Um, and I would like to still be making YouTube videos, but maybe not relying on it as my main source of income. Um, and just kind of sharing what I want to share with you guys. So I would love to say that I would, you know, be living with my partner and like, you know, maybe taking more steps towards family things. I don't really plan things out far in advance. I'm kind of a more of a go with the flow person, although probably to my detriment, I probably should plan things a little bit more. <laughs> and on the back of that question, someone has asked, do you feel pressured to start having kids getting married? Um, and like you're getting too old. Yes, in short, I definitely feel that pressure. I feel like every woman does in a way, or if you want to have kids at least anyway. Having kids to me is so important. Like I really, really want to be a mother and I really, really crave that family dynamic and that kind of relationship. But at the same time, I'm very aware of my relationships and myself and I want to make sure I'm making the right decisions not just because I want to have a family or a baby um, and my worst fear is having having made the wrong choice and I feel like that's really that's my own problem in a way as well because I feel like having a fear around that is not healthy I need to let go of the control that I never know what's going to happen or how it's going to happen um, because I'm so scared of like breaking up my family or having a divorce or something like that. These are the things that I think about. You know, I'm 29 so I definitely do feel that pressure coming up where people have babies around that age but at the same time a lot of people have them in their mid 30s and that's completely fine um you just never know if you're going to be someone who struggles to conceive or not my mom actually had me at 42 so i'm hoping that i have her genes <laughs> i don't know all i know is that i'm definitely not ready to have kids just yet so um I'm going to honor that and kind of just keep experiencing life and learning and growing. And I think that I'll be a better parent when I'm a little bit older. When I was younger, I had in my mind that I wanted to be a young mum and that um, I'll have kids really young and stuff. But that wasn't my path at all. You know, I had breakups. My camera just died. What was I saying? I had breakups and I had experiences. And I'm really happy that that happened because, I don't know. I think um, that's what I needed to go through and I'm glad I didn't stay in a relationship just so I could have babies young because I wouldn't have been happy in the long run. Um, but yeah, this is where we're at. Tips on letting down walls in a new relationship. You know, vulnerability is the key to connection. So if you're not willing to be vulnerable, you're not going to form a real connection and you'll probably end up losing that person anyway because you haven't formed a good connection. There's always a risk of hurting, getting hurt which is why it's hard to open up and be vulnerable because if someone sees you for who you are and then things go bad it hurts ten times more. But that's the only way of actually having something really beautiful as well. So acknowledging that it's a necessary part of feeling really connected to someone opening up and letting down those walls and then you know being with the, with the right person that allows you to who creates the space for you to do that but also you have to you have to put in the effort to do that yourself as well you have to create that space as well actually taking up the opportunities when your partner does create the space and um, meeting them there. Not super personal, but I want to know what Taylor Swift songs are not it for you. Look, there's not a lot. <laughs> Perfectly Good Heart. 
Uh, I actually don't love The Moment I Knew, which is probably really controversial, but it's just not one of my faves. There isn't many because let's just let's just acknowledge Taylor Swift can't write a bad song. Taylor Swift can't even write an average song. It's really quite concerning at this point. Can you hear Ari snoring? This dog, I swear to God, I want her life. I want her life. I feel like we've had a great DM, guys. I think I might leave it there. I hope you enjoyed this video and um, this little chat. And don't forget if you want to shop the YCL Black Friday sale, it'll be linked down below. Um, I love you guys. Thanks for being here. And I'll see you again really soon. Peace. 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 Peace.